Hey there, it's Raina Nisus with the Season of Caring, and I just want to say thank you. That's what this month is all about. National Family Caregiver Month is just a time for us to take a moment and acknowledge all that you do. The patience, the resilience, the undying energy and dedication, it's all required to do the important job of being a family caregiver. And I see how hard you work at it. And I thank you so much for all that you're doing for your loved one. You know, the ability to juggle your own life and care for a loved one can be such a difficult challenge. And I just want to remind you just because it's hard, doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. So thank you. Thank you for all that you're doing to take care of your loved one. And this month, it's our chance to celebrate you. So I want to offer you just three real quick tips of things to do to think about that might bring some more joy to your life as you're in the middle of this caregiving season. The first one is to look for joy. Maybe even create your very own joy journal. Once we train ourselves to look for the things that bring us joy or make us feel loved, we will start to see more and more of them every day, no matter how hard the journey is. The second one is take some time to listen to music. That music connects our hearts in a very special way. And really being able to um, enjoy that music with the person you're caring for can make some amazing memories. It's some of the best memories I have with my mom, who was nonverbal for about the eight, last eight years of her life from Alzheimer's disease. And the last one is to laugh. <laughs> Laughter is so good for the soul. And really, sometimes we can forget to laugh in the middle of all the things that we have to do. So turn on that video, watch that silly cat video, read a comic strip, or even tell each other jokes. Find a way and a reason to laugh today. Thanks again for all that you're doing. <music>